if you're joining me from another video, if you're joining me for the first time, hello! I am opening up the next of the Wave 1 Lollipop Girls from Jean McLean Designs. Uh, she is a well-known porcelain doll maker, but she did come out with these uh, fashion dolls, which are um, plastic. In her classic kind of face style, she does have a style which um, is how I what I use to recognize her porcelain dolls, etc. And it is displayed on these dolls. I love the legs, they just go on forever on these dolls. Now in the first video I opened up um, Cassie and Bridget. So if you haven't seen that video and want to check those two lovely girls out, those are in the previous video. These dolls are fashion models and they're done with the lollipop style. Now these dolls I purchased, um, they're still in the box but they have been taken out of the box to basically wipe the dust off them as they were in storage for a very long time. But other than that, ace. <laughs> <laughs> and I got them for $20 New Zealand each, which I considered a bargain. I'm going to unbox them and bring them out. Let's start with Lulu. Okay, so having a quick look at Lulu's box here, you can see her in here. Each of the dolls, as I said, have a lollipop in there. Um, inaugural edition, I don't exactly know what that means. Um, they all have this little lollipop. Say, hi, I'm Lulu. I live in London, England. And then on the side, there is three of the wave one, Bridget, Sissy and Pippi. On the back, a bit of an explanation of the dolls and all six of the wave one dolls. And then on the other side, Belle, Bibi, Cassie and Lulu. Now these have, as I said, been opened up before to clean the dolls. So, excuse the motorbike that just went by. I don't know if my camera's going to pick them up. <laughs> That was a really loud motorbike as I'm not entirely close to the road, but boy oh boy. Oh, I'm just ripping the box here. <laughs> ah, open sesame! Oh my goodness, what's the magic word? Open lollipop. Oh, that worked better. Alright. Yup. Sounded like it was screeching as I took it out. So, oh, there's her little purse and... Here you will see there is a collector's list. Um, each one comes with this collector's list. One of them, I think it was either Bridget, uh, one of the first two dolls came with a DVD. I put it in the D, um, with a CD. I put it in the DVD player and it played a Lollipop Girls theme song. So this uh, little brochure unfolds and kind of gives a story on each of the girls and their lives, etc. I think it's really cute. Um, reminds me a lot of Monster High Diaries. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. The legs, I can't get over the legs. Let's bring up a Barbie just first to go over her size. So as you can see here, she's got half a head on Barbie again. And whereas Barbie's legs come up and finish about here, her legs come right up to here. Yeah, so her legs just keep going and going. She has a real innocent look to her. The doll is well articulated. I'll just go over the articulation quickly. It has shoulder movement. It has elbow movement. It does not have wrist movement. It has hip movement. The legs can't really go out this way, but they can go back and forward. And they do have clicky legs, but they are only one click legs. So they don't go in a full sitting down position. She is so pretty. Let me bring her up and let's have a look. So here she is. Her, she has a fringe and much like um, the first doll I opened. Yeah, so it's a high half up ponytail. The hair is well cut. You can see there it's beautiful. It's beautiful feeling here. It's very, very silky. And then her face. It is a young looking face. Really delicate painted eyelashes. They have little earrings at the side. A metallic sort of lipstick. Okay, so next she has a long sleeve top. It looks like it's a one piece, but it's not actually. This is in a stretchy material and this is in an imitation leather. Um, it's got a little v-neck here, which is quite cute. A couple little hearts to the side in pink and purple. Down here we have a belt with a little flower. And then we have the imitation skirt. So each is done up with Velcro at the back. That's the top and that's the Velcro for the skirt. Going down, down, down and her ever ready legs just keeps going and going and going. Down to these purple and black striped leggings. 
And then she has these gorgeous black shoes tied up with laces around just above her ankles. How cute is that? Very, very fashion model. Now, here is the lollipop. So her signature color looks like it's going to be purplish. Because her, I mean, look at her hair. <laughs> and her eyes are almost a blue to a deep purple. So that's really, really cute. I love these dolls. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea. Um, as I said in the first video, I know some people who aren't a fan of lollipop girls, but I am. I love them. <laughs> Let's put her to the side and give Sissy some attention. Oh, now this accessory was on the bottom, so I assume this is her purse. I'm not a fan of the purse if this is her accessory. It's a plastic piece of, um, well, it just doesn't really suit her. It's just kind of the pink is off color and the diamonds. I don't know. I'm going to keep it with her though because it came in the box with her. We're going to put it down the bottom though because she looks really cute as she is. All right, uh, sissy, come up and have your day in the spotlight. Let's me move. Let there be light. I have spotlights all behind me for shining on things, especially when I'm an old lady. So when I'm working and restoring, I need all the help I can get. Lots of good light. <laughs> Here is Sissy. She is g'day to you, mate. I'm from Sydney, Australia. Um, I'm a New Zealander and a lot of people mistake my accent for Australian, but we are actually very different. <laughs> it's kind of like calling an American a Canadian. Um, let's move the box around. It's all the same. Come on, Sissy. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> now, hopefully I'm not going to have so much hassle this time. Oh well, it just ripped, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to keep them in their boxes anyway. Woo! And there we go. Make sure there's no little accessory down the bottom. Nope, it was just the collectible card. Oh, I think she's my favourite so far. I love, love, love her outfit. I'm a little worried and it is in this material that deteriorates. Um, it's kind of like the, it's done like in the shiny leather sort of look and it does break down if you know um, uh, With Bridget here, it's in that material and a lot of Barbie dolls original Barbie dolls in the 80s um, Had it and I gave the example she's Barbie I had which had a thing in her hair and her outfit just slowly over time um, it doesn't rip or anything or make holes It's just the covering comes off so I'm gonna have to be extra extra careful with her but her face and her hair, oh, I love it. I love it so much. I almost want to custom one of these. Um, I need to find one which is super cheap and custom, but I've never ever seen one in a thrift store, so Lord knows where I'd get one. Let's bring her up and have a look. Here she is up close. So she has a fringe. Actually, a lot of them have fringes, which is weird for dolls today. Most of them, uh, most fashion dolls tend to have a fresh faced clean forehead I really like the fringes so she has a ponytail half up half up means half your hair is down and half of it's pulled up so she has a ponytail here and a ponytail here and little black ribbons tying it in very night nice style here a little necklace with a diamond in front with this leather jacket this shiny pink to blue with a silver spots uh, it's a boob tube. That's what that's called. One of those little things that goes along the race and has no boob tube. There you go. If you didn't know what that was, this is called a boob tube. <laughs> At least it is in my country. Okay, so she has a imitation leather jacket on. Um, her articulation is the same. Her lollipop is actually red. I would have thought it would have been pink, but it's done in a red swirl. Down to these pants that just keep going and there's tiny little details on the side will be very hard to bring that up But there's little little buttons. Excuse the old nail polish on my thumb here <laughs> Tiny little buttons coming down here, and then she has pink boots. How far do they go up? Are they knee-high? Are they? Ooh! Oh my goodness. I don't want to wreck. Uh, here she says. Oh, okay, so they're short pink boots high-heeled boots. Let's get that back in focus. Gorgeous. And she has Barbie style feet which point downwards um, for high heels. 
absolutely gorgeous. The outfit, the jacket's just a throw over, it doesn't do up at the front. Um, the pants and the boob tube are just velcro done up at the back. Beautiful and definitely my favourite out of the opening. Um, coming a close second at the moment is um, uh, Cassie. So there isn't much variation in the faces with the eyes. Um, all that's different is the colour change of the eyes, subtle little differences um, in the colour. The style is exactly the same and the lipstick colour. But the rest of the face is almost identical. The, the way the um, eyelashes have been done, the eyebrow and um, they have all different little earrings she has with these. But it's definitely in Jan McLean style. I love them. I hope you love them. <laughs> Let's do a flyby. Here are the two girls I opened first with their waving and they're welcoming the two new fashion girls in. So I have opened Bridget, Sissy, Cassie and Lulu. And I'm absolutely in love with them. And of course, check out Jan McLean dolls if you want. I'm pretty sure she's a New Zealander, actually. Um, she has some beautiful dolls in this very innocent, childlike style, if you're into that sort of style. So next, we'll be opening up Bibi and... Uh, what's the other one's name? Bibi and Pippi! Pippi! Pippi over there whose hat's fallen off. Oh my god! <laughs> Pippi had a hard night out last night. Yeah, she... she <laughs> <laughs> she isn't interested right now. If you love lollipop girls, please give this video a thumbs up. If you love dolls in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to open dolls especially. And we love to share. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye mates. See you later.